Okay, I have had this car, hold on one second, let's, I've had this car, oh, I would say six or seven months now. That's my average fuel mileage, 25.5 over the course of 2,700 miles. And I gotta tell you, I absolutely love 99% of everything about this Honda Ridgeline. This is a 2020. Uh, I love the trunk. I love the way the door opens in two ways. Uh, I'm a huge fat guy and I actually have my seat pulled up. I would have even more room if I slid my seat back a little bit. But uh, I like to drive like this with my hand over the top of the steering wheel. Just, I drove an 18 wheeler and that's how I drove all 40 years. Anyway, uh, there are a couple of things I absolutely freaking hate about this stupid. Here's one of them. Who in their right mind thought it would be a good idea to not put a stick shift here? I just can't imagine who would rather have push buttons stupid. I hate not having a stick shift. I hate it. Number two, and it's actually the biggest problem. If, unless you remember to push this button here every single time, when you come to a stop, your engine shuts off. And then when you go, you press your gas and it bangs in a gear. It's a uh, very unpleasant and at the end of the day, you might save a, a thimble full of gasoline. Believe me, if there was a, I have searched and scoured and called technicians. There's just no way without completely redoing your ECM. There's no way to uh, get around it. I mean, you push this button and, and that option stops. But you got to remember to push that button. And nine times out of ten, you don't remember to push that button until you come up to a red light and the engine quits, and you don't realize the engine has quit because it's so quiet until you hit your gas pedal and uh, the thing bangs, you know, cranks up and bangs into gear, and it's just a mess. Really, really stupid. And it's not an option I ever in a million years would have opted for. I'm all for, I mean, I bought this vehicle for fuel mileage, but uh, I did not buy it because I wanted it to aggravate the crap out of me about saving an extra teaspoon of gasoline. And the last thing that doesn't mean a whole lot to me because uh, I don't uh, play the radio is this stupid volume. There's no button to turn the volume up. There's no button. So it's this. And not, not, I mean, you have to really say you got to do it and do it and do it. Really stupid. That's just stupid, Honda. Look at that. Ridiculous. Anyway, that's three things. Otherwise, the seats are the most comfortable seats I've ever had in any vehicle I've ever driven. Even my very expensive Recaro seats that I put in my 18-wheeler, my Kenworth, thousands of dollars for seats, leather, air, air, airbags, air support everywhere. Uh, anyway... Yeah, it's been a great, great vehicle. I love all the other options. It's just that stupid uh, auto shut off. Uh, the fact that there's no stick shift here is just ridiculous. It's just very inconvenient. I do not like this at all. This is my main complaint. And the other one is this. Actually, it's about even. That is just stupid that you have no way of turning that stupid thing off except Every time you get in your vehicle, you got to remember, even if you're just going from where I park it to where I'm backing up here to my garage, you got to remember, because the second you put your brake on, the engine shuts off. Stupid. And the volume. Absolutely ridiculous. Everything else? Been great. Love it. But uh, those are three very, very aggravating. And the volume is not even that big a deal, because to me, I just don't listen to radio. And, uh, you know, my, my phone is connected to that. I do use the uh, phone, you know, menu and all that. So once you set the volume, you never got to touch it again. But, uh, yep, that, no stick shift, and uh, that stupid auto off crap. Here. Auto engine stop disabled. And you got to remember to do that every single time you start the car. Okay. Uh, 
like I say, I absolutely love this. It's the nicest vehicle I've ever owned, the most comfortable. I've pulled by trailer with it. I've pulled some heavy loads with it. I've loaded the back down with it. And uh, yeah, I'm very happy with this. In case you uh, haven't seen it. If you're, I'm just gonna put my, you know, 2020 Honda Ridgeline. It's been a great vehicle. Not quite a year, but uh, I really enjoyed driving it. Okay, on to my uh, my next project, which is putting some some lights. Let me see if it. Yeah, I got six of these. I'm tired of fumbling around in the dark in here, and. Uh, one second. I got some uh, two by fours. I'll show you where I'm gonna put these. It doesn't, it seems like it's bright in here, but it absolutely is not. And these are fluorescent lights. So I've got six lights. I'm putting one, two, three in, in this section, and then one, two, three in this section, and I'm getting rid of the fluorescent lights. And uh, I'm gonna wire three together on this side, three together on this side, and they're all going to that junction box up there. No, it's not, uh, <laughs> it's not something a, an electrician would do, but uh, the way it's wired has been wired that way for 30 years, so I'm just going to continue with it. And the LED lights, they pull a, a lot less electricity. Okay. Let me, uh, actually, I'll, I'll probably move these forward, do my work here, and then move them back, and then get these up here. Well, uh, since I'm here, let me show you how this thing opens. It opens the regular, I mean, this way. It also opens the regular way. You can't get in there, baby. You're fixing to jump in. And then, there's that. That is giant. That is bigger than most car trunks. And there are videos of salesmen climbing in there, sitting in it like a bathtub, just to show you how big it is. But I ain't doing that. And uh, then it's got a little... I keep rope in here and a pair of gloves. Sort of like a bed glove box. And you can get an entire sheet of plywood in here laid flat in between the wheel wells. And uh, with this open, let me see. I'll get a, a tape measure. I'll be right back. I'll get a tape measure. Just a five eighths of an inch short of uh, seven foot. And this is uh, five, what? Five, a little over five foot. Five foot uh, with a tailgate up, you would be able to get five, two and a half in here. So, plenty of room. Here, let's do it this way since, since I'm here. Fifty-eight inches. Yep, I, I forget what the payload is, but uh, it'll tow thirty-five hundred pounds, which is more than I would ever tow. I have that trailer with a twenty-five hundred pound axle, and I've had that maxed out uh, behind this, and then I've had the bed full, and uh, you wouldn't even, you know, it didn't. I mean, sure, I had to press the brakes a little harder and uh but it, it pulled it just fine so i'm happy with it all right i won't talk about it again if anybody ever has any questions about it let me know uh I, i'm i was a ford guy my whole life f-150s lariats that, that was my jam but uh i got tired of the little stupid bull crap that always went wrong with fords you know, the the big thing that used to go wrong that used to just aggravate the crap out of me 
is every time you drug something out, it would catch the edge of the Ford door on the tailgate and pull the edge up. It would pull this off. And Honda, there's nothing to catch on here. And the cap is recessed below the edge of this, so you'll never hook it. I don't know why Ford couldn't have done that. Oh, well. Here, I'll give you a look at the inside since, I, since I'm here. Oh, yeah. Plenty of room in the back. I can sit in the back. Plenty of room. And uh, this has been uh, very, very comfortable. Okay, I have permission. Well, look at this little dog all snuggled up. She says, turn the heat on. Yeah. It is 65 in our house. And uh, that's pretty close to pipe freezing weather right there. So here we go. First time of the season. You said, when you looked at your phone while ago, you said it was 41 outside. Yeah. And you said, good Lord, we're going to die. Okay. First first heat of the year, the fall. So what is this, the uh, 27th or 8th? Yeah, last year we didn't turn it on until after my birthday. <sighs> Do you feel it? I do. I'm gonna stand underneath the. Oh God, yeah. Are you cold? Oh, yeah. I'm freezing. I was freezing last night. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Ebenezer. 